Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Soulstone Survivors. Uh, specifically, I guess the Ascension update, if you caught my previous coverage of this game. So Soulstone Survivors is a pretty solid bullet heaven that, uh, at least is ostensibly also inspired by Diablo. I think Calls of Torment is a little bit more on the Diablo side of things. However, uh, it has a really nice... Ooh. They have changed this slightly, and it looks nice. All your attacks have a chance to burn targets. Crit damage modifier or damage modifier by 20% subtracts movement speed. Ouch. I think I'm going to just go for the crit damage, even if you know, I'm not critting that much at the moment. Uh, but so, a couple of big things about this. One, the enemies don't just hurt you by touching you. They actually have to attack, so I can actually walk through these enemies uh, if I want to quite safely, which is kind of nice. So as long as I'm going fast enough, it's a lot harder for me to get hurt by anything. Now... It also uses kind of a, I don't want to say a set bonus situation. Oh, wait, really? That's an arcane move. That's interesting. Uh, so, I guess skill tags, but certain things will actually buff other things as long as it's got the right tag. So, it'll be like 20% extra damage to thrust weapons, which is super handy. So, right now, we've got arcane swing, frontal, and physical. Arcane sparks is arcane missile burst and magical. I like the idea of potentially just going as uh, with as much arcane as possible. But I think I might want to grab arcane power more than anything else. Uh, because that's a solid buff. Right now it's not useful. But if I can get that to have a couple of buffs, it actually becomes absurdly powerful really fast. And also I'm not sure if I want to go for more of a melee build or not. Cast frequency by 10%? Sure. Yeah, so it doesn't look like a lot of the mid-run upgrades have changed too much. But once we're done with this run... Uh, I'll be able to show off the fact that this game got kind of ridiculous with its meta progression. And I honestly, I think it's going in the right direction with that at the very least. Oh, right. There was a thing about enemy spawns being more common if you're in the bottom right. Armor is a p percentage. I think I'm going to go for the armor. The flat reduction is nice and probably actually would be better now, but I think the percentage is better long term up until a point I think there are diminishing returns so yeah let's uh let's kind of kite these guys back because I'm pretty sure there was a thing where enemies are more uh are faster about spawning if you're in a corner okay so arcane swing frontal and physical none of these are arcane we can re-roll if I want to oh I don't have any That's unfortunate. Otherwise, we could get rid of Slash and go for Arcane and Magical. It's not a bad idea. I just call. It, I guess I'll get Thunderstrike. We'll see what we'll see what I'm offered. Multicast by sixteen percent. Sure. I think the logic for if you're in the corner is that the enemies are all spawning from one location. Maybe. Let's see. Area modifier of arcane skills. Yeah. So, super worth it. I feel like the music also got a bit of an overhaul. I'm going to have to check before I upload this one to see if it's actually YouTube safe, which is eh, always slightly a bit of a... I don't want to say like a bit of a problem for me. It can be. Let's go for those arcane sparks that I skipped earlier. Relentless, armor crit damage. I like cast frequency. I like just absolutely gouting abilities. Okay. AOE magnet. Experience modifier by 10%. Pickup range by additional 50% increases. Yeah. I like pickup radius and the extra EXP is kind of icing on the cake. I'm sure there are diminishing returns for it, but if I'm not given anything better, that's worth it. Shadow magical. Magical. I mean, it seems like magical is nice and easy. I guess I'm going to go for Void. I don't remember Void being particularly amazing, but I'm just trying to get arcane skills. Number of dashes you can perform by one. Not that that matters too much. Unless this has introduced a bunch of really interesting passive moves I don't know about. I've been playing Gunfire Reborn, and I had a run yesterday where it was like, every three dashes you become invulnerable, and um... Let me tell you, that gets really goofy when you have three dashes and a short dash cooldown. 
Okay. Magical, mystical, missile, magical. Guess I'm gonna go for that one. At the moment, not very good, but I don't have much of a choice. Ah, uh, let's see, I have 180 maximum health. I forget what the difference between block and... Block and armor are. Wow, he died fast. Okay, so we do not want void skill. Oh, skip active skills. Oh. No, we don't want to tick that on at the moment. Damage modifier by 5%? Sure. Because yeah, I'm, I'm going to be replacing that void skill ASAP. Whenever I get the chance. Okay. None of these are good, though. But I can grab this. Multicast chance of slash. By 48%. Multicast... I think it's better to go for this one, because I've got six skills. This is effectively a 72% increase. This is just one skill, which is good. You can over-focus, but I tend, to, I tend to go for the more broad reach. I'm not actually sure if that's the way to do it, but still. Okay. All missile skills. Damage increased by 40%, but that's only two, and they're ones that I'm probably going to be getting rid of. Honestly, I think I'm going to go for crits, have a chance to apply bleed. Bleed just does damage over time effects. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to pick up some more arcane spells, but I don't know. We'll see if I actually even get lucky here. Sometimes I do. Sometimes not so much, though. So you fire shield, rotate around you, doing damage. Attacks have a chance of applying slow to a target or critical damage chance by 10%. I wish it actually was just critical chance as opposed to critical damage chance. Unless there's some other critical that I don't know about. Because when it says critical damage chance, I think, oh, it's a... Uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, let's get rid of the void. Uh, I, in I inherently think critical damage chance is just critical damage. Just on... We with weird wording. Movement speed, chance to poison, cast frequency of arcane sparks by 20%. I don't know. I, I'm still very much in the camp of upgrade everything rather than one specific move. And I have no idea if that's actually the right way to do it. But it feels like it's the right way to do it. Okay. Arcane Beam. Gonna get rid of Lightning Bolt. We're getting pretty close to getting what I need and want here. Ooh. Okay, arcane... Oh, that's arcane power. This is the one that is actually mildly worthwhile, because this buffs everything. So let's go for that. Ah, it's a wave. Multicast of Thunderstrike by 60%. Can't do it. Because I'm also planning on replacing that one, very specifically. Well, there's a lot of AoEs. Okay. None of these none of these boyos are arcane. Arcane sparks, multicast, chance. We go for the critical damage. Eventually that's gonna be a 12% damage up. It's not huge, and I'd much prefer other things, but it's fine. Uh let's see, critical damage chance. You know, honestly, I'm actually gonna go for the movement speed now. We've got a couple of AoEs that are starting to spawn on me, and if I move just a little bit faster, I don't have to worry about dodging. Not that dodging is really much of an issue for me. Oh, there he goes. Okay. None of these are arcane, so I don't care. Multicast chance by 8%. Yes. Unfortunately, that doesn't scale exponentially. It doesn't compound. But honestly, it's probably for the best that it doesn't. That would be, like, the most broken thing ever. If it did. Armor. Apply slow. No. I want to grab as many status effects as possible. One, because they're just kind of useful. Two, because there's actually a number of synergy moves that show up every once in a while. Like, when you bleed an enemy, you can also make them frail. Uh, little stuff like that's actually pretty helpful. I do not know what's causing me to heal, but I'm not going to complain about it. 
really wants me to get frequency on the arcane sparks, but... Now, the one question I have with the poison is, do I have a 30% chance of poisoning enemies multiple times? Or for, like, a lot? Or is it... Does the percentage chance increase? I wish it would actually show you on some of these. Like, if you're getting a linear upgrade. I want to see if I can get arcane power to have 100% uptime. Yeah, we might want to we might want to actually consider getting Wow, oh, we're going fast today. Arcane beam, arcane sparks, arcane beam again. I guess I'm going going for arcane beam. Whoops. Stay away from that. Yeah, I might want to actually go for that flat damage reduction when I get the chance. Not like immediately, but it'd be nice. Okay. So I'm just going to Kind of going circles here. None of these are arcane, so we don't need to worry about it. Cast frequency, arcane disc, or magnetic. I think the magnetic would be nice, but anytime I'm given a better ability, I'm going to go for that instead. Alright, to some degree I'm supposed to be coming here for crafting components. And materials and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. More cast frequency? Yeah. I mean, just a flat 10% attack speed, I think, is always worth it. Even if it's not as big of an up upgrade as some other ones. Okay, so how are we doing on time? We've already killed three Lords of the Void. We're actually getting pretty close to the next one already. I, I think the corner strat is still superior. Uh, let's see, cast frequency of disc. Fine. Have your move-specific upgrades. Hey, and there's magic missiles. Let's get rid of Thunderstrike for magic missiles. Yeah, I'm just going to keep kind of punching through them. I don't feel I'm particularly strong here, which is a little unfortunate. Yeah, we've actually found precious few upgrades that apply damage to our types. It seems much more like move-centric now. I wonder if it's because of the meta progression. It might be. I'm getting through based on sheer gusto and the fact that this build is pretty good. And probably those status effect chances. If I had a guess. Okay. Further attack speed. Arcane sparks. Disc. I have no choice. I'll go for the disc. I'm not sure what changes. I don't know what pops me into the air, but I'll be honest, whenever it happens, it's kind of satisfying. Ah, I think I dodged it. Uh, let's see, Death Vortex. That sounds fun. We'll have to try that again. Okay, here we go. Every time you apply a Chance of Doom, there's a chance for Dazed as well. that that alone is particularly amazing, but it does help. There we go. Okay. So this boosts my missile abilities. Sure, why not? It doesn't apply quite as universally as I'd like. But it's still worth it. So let's, let's run around for a bit. Because I've got some rocks to grab. Unless that was all of them. Was it? Really? Just those rocks and nothing more. Huh. Weird. It was just a handful of rocks outside of my periphery. And then seemingly few others. Because yeah, I'd like to go out of my way to get more of the crafting components. So I can specifically upgrade 
all of my various uh, items and skills and whatnot. But if they are not forthcoming, I don't know. I had a fan specifically say like, hey, do you want to like skip a lot of the grind? And not going to lie, it's tempting. So that multi chance of bursts by 36%. It's only going to help two. I'm going to do it anyway. That's still a huge bonus. Okay, frequency of arcane power, it's tem tempting. But I'm going to go for the magnet radius. And I think I'm going to go back to my corner. We're not getting anything fancy here. Okay, good. I've, I'm recording with my new computer, and uh, I haven't actually turned off my Steam overlay, so it's like, your friend is now playing Warframe, and I'm like, I just don't care. Like, I'm actually quite curious how many of you guys turned that kind of thing off. Oh, that was some crit chance, wasn't it? Shoot. I could have actually used that. Oh well. It doesn't matter that much to me. Okay, cast frequency by 5%, magic missiles, or chance of poison. I think I'm just going to go for the chance of poison. Unless all that, all stacking the poison does is it actually scales the damage. Like I said, I, I wish it was actually upfront about some of these things. It would be kind of nice. This is not my strongest run I've ever had. Oh, let's see. Oh well. Damage for arcane sparks, arcane power, arcane power. Let's just go for the arc arcane sparks for the time being. And then let's go mining for a bit. I know there's a boss somewhere that I gotta be worried about, but... I don't know where he is. I also don't care. I also want to grab some HP. There we go. Because after I kill this... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Because I believe after I kill this guy, uh, it's either loop or end. And I think I'm going to end because I want to see what the meta progression looks like. I don't want to prep another run, either with this character or somebody else. Kind of depends. Okay. But the other thing I haven't even done is I haven't even, like, upgraded my weapons or, like, a gazillion other things. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go for the armor just by a bit. At this point, any kind of damage increase is going to be marginal. Whereas defense might save the run. I don't think I'm too worried about it. And my entire goal is to just stack endless bleed and poison on this boy. Because even if my regular attacks aren't particularly strong... There we go. Alright, I don't think I care about any of these. Okay, choose a portal. I think we want this one. I don't actually remember the difference between the infinite and the other, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and we got some amount of materials. So let's let's see how this goes. So if I go to the skill tree. Really? I'm confused. Should I not have a skill tree show up? I might have to play a different character then. Who else? Who else gets the ascensions here? Okay. Can be unlocked using skill points earned from... Wait. You can... Now find character-specific nodes in the skill tree, which can be unlocked using skill points earned from prestige levels, with loads of new types of skill effects and 200, no 200 new nodes to learn. Barbarian, Pyromancer, Houndmaster, Spellblade, Arcane Weaver, Sentinel, and Paladin. Okay, good. So I can do I can do Paladin, at the very least, because he is he is my boy and he's actually been upgraded at least a little bit. 
I'm going to take a look at a couple more things and we'll dive into this. Okay, so with a little bit of application of Cheat Engine, I now have a whole bunch of these resources at the very least, which let me finally fill out the skill tree and unlock this character's specific skill tree, not that we can really see much of any of it. Looks like there might also be another layer to it. Uh, we don't have any more runes because I have to actually unlock them by playing the game, uh, which, yeah, I'm not going to be able to cheat that. I might be able to if I, like, really went looking, but I don't, I don't know and I don't care. We got to get up to one heck of a prestige level to get that. Maybe I'll be fine with those. Anyway, so let's do Paladin, fight. I don't want to go back here, so why don't we go to the Whispering Grove, max curse intensity, because I think we want to get up to this to get the really good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. We'll also get some rare materials, which might be useful for things. I didn't want to go back to the, sa the same areas last time since the music is... I mean, the music and the visuals, not that it really matters too much, but I, I prefer to... I don't know what's going on over there. There's some stuff. But yeah, we want to we wanna just hang out in this corner and just beat them down. Music on this is pretty good. I like it. Now, it's interesting because I've got Penance and Hammer of Justice, but I also seem to summon the Holy Ghost every once in a while, and I'm not quite sure why or how. I ain't gonna come, uh, I'm not going to think about it too hard. So Fiery Orbs. Nah, let's just do Damage of Hammer. We are going to be a Holy Boy, and I'm not swapping these weapons out for anything. At some point, I'll mess around with like all their alternative builds, but we've got to unlock way more runes before I want to mess around with that. Yeah, I want to get that Chain Lightning. The Holy Chain. I want to get that to be... Let's see, do we want to grab this? I still haven't found a character that specifically has the summon tag. So let's go for Might. It's just 50% bonus damage like a third of the time or half the time. And if I get the right upgrades, I can get keep that up always, which seems reasonably good to me. I also want to up my AoE if I can. Uh, block power? Sure. Here, I want to actually check. What is the difference between block power? Chance to completely block attacks. Ooh. I really wish instead of telling me what the block power is, it would actually tell me what, what the increase is going to net me. Let's see. Expansive, damage of penance. I'm going to go for magnetic for the time being, especially this early on. The extra EXP is nice. And magnetism. Light beam. Yep. That seems reasonably good. Nice forward directional. Okay. Frailty increases damage received. I, uh, oh, no. That's just 5% extra damage. I think I'm going to go for the burn. I have nothing to actually confirm that the burn is better, but I'm going to assume. Damage modifier by 30%, but slows me down by 15. That hurts. I'm not sure if I really like that, but it's better than my alternatives. Smite! We definitely need the speed, though. This character is somewhat tanky, but not, like, amazingly so. Let's see. Multicast of physical. I didn't know all of these were considered. Of type physical. Interesting. Light beam. Oh, light beam is the only one that isn't. Eh, that's fine. That's still a really good upgrade for that entire setup. Okay, damage of smite. Oh, right, Smite's the one that has healing. I think it's still worth it. Okay, and then Beacon of Light, Blessed Aura. Ooh. Both of these are good. Uh, wait, we can lock a skill. Because I want to grab Beacon of Light. I think I'm going to replace the beam with Beacon. Because Beacon just heals me. And that way they're all f considered physical attacks too. Which is very much what I'm looking for. 
Okay, so now that we have this, uh, smite AoE, sure. We actually very much want that. Because I'm, I'm going to try and go for a big long run here, uh, which means looping. Uh, let's see. Care not about any of these. AoE effect of exorcism, AoE of smite. You know, I'm actually going to make smite bigger. Okay. Damage. Frequency of Might. We want that. Because I want Might to have 100% uptime. Currently it's 50% and that's not good enough. Let's see. Movement speed by 30%. Oh, blessed be. I still feel very slow. Also two bosses. Oh. I forgot. Higher difficulties have more friends. Uh, let's see. Damage of everything that is considered lasting. Well, if that's if that includes smite, then absolutely. Okay, cast frequency by 15%. Absolutely. The problem is this rock here is messing me up. I should probably move away from it. Can't quite see what's going on. This is a bit of an issue. Crit damage chance. A AoE for beacon of light. Uh, no, let's let's try and get my crit up. Okay, don't want that. Multicast for all holy spells. Or damage increase of all lasting. So that's three. That's everything. I like the damage increase, but yeah, we're gonna go for the multicast. Okay, crit damage chance. I, I'm gonna go for the chance first. So area modifier of all lasting. Yep. Because I want my aura to be huge. And ideally, I would like it to have like a 100% uptime situation. Area modifier of all skills by 10%, yeah. I, I just want to be able to nuke the whole screen with Beacon of Light. And ideally, if I can have that running constantly, possibly with multiple layers, that should do uh, really funny things. I think it, I think it actually is just 100% uptime already. Rad. So AOE for missiles by 40%. I think I have to. Even if I'm not using the missiles too much, that's still a huge upgrade upgrade for two of my weapons. Let's see. Multicast. Hammer of Justice. Sure. I guess let's throw even more hammer. Bounced off of him. Chance to do a critical strike on enemies with full health. I mean, I might as well snag that. There's no reason not to. Oh, it's two different ones this time around. Uh, let's go for Fragility. Because effectively, this means I'm going to just create a Fragility Aura. Reduce damage taken by 2%. That's the Medusa character. Oh, right, let's just skip active skills. At this point, I don't want them. Good damage by an additional 10%. Yeah, I don't think there is a single thing that I could pick up here that would sway me from my path. The only one I'd maybe consider is getting rid of Might. Now nah, I'm going to go for that multi-chat cast chance, even though I want that crit. Let's see. Damage Beacon of Light. Yep, Death Aura. Chance of Fragility, chance for Bleed. Yep. It's nice and good for me. I'll have to scale up my Fragility scaling a bit. Now, do we have any mining around here? Okay, Damage of Smite, AoE for everything. I mean, honestly, yeah. I'll just keep leveling up Smite. I 
don't think there are too many resources. All right, let's go back to our corner. All right, so we've got good healing. We're reasonably tanky. My damage is great. Crit damage, armor, damage of Hammer of Justice. Yeah, I'll upgrade the hammer. It's one of those where I pretty much just want to pick up blue upgrades whenever and wherever I can. Damage of Beacon of Light, yeah. Because I effectively... Oh. Stepped in a bad one there. Okay. Damage modifier, crit damage, fragility. I want that for the bleed. I'm not quite in the best position. Ow. I was really under the assumption that this... If this attack hits four or more, it heals me. I thought that would work. If it is, it certainly ain't working often, or well. I'm gonna go for agility. We need way more movement speed. Because, yeah, I was under the assumption that exorcism would be healing me a bunch. I, I suppose it's not. Ow. Maybe it is healing me. I don't know. Or, uh, this is bad. Alright, do we have any Healy Crystals? No? I don't think so. Oh, well, there's one. I'm just gonna keep running away. Increase AoE. The extra magnet size would be nice, but I, I just want big, endless AoEs for major healing. We desperately need some extra movement speed here. Okay, potency of might, AoE. Go for the potency of the might buff. Oh, oh, nope. All right, this is why I must start investing hard into movement speed. At least we've got the whole death aversion. That's not as good as I would like it to be. Oh, come on. Oh, there goes my other one. Boy, this difficulty curve uh, got rough. Okay, I'm going to go for the AoE for Exorcism, because I want that to hit as many enemies as possible. And yeah, it looks like I've really got to push my movement speed. Otherwise, I am functionally toast. Okay, he doing the spin. Yeah, I need more dash. Yeah, you, you would think with my exorcism healing, I'd, I'd be healing constantly. I suppose not. All right, let's grab this one. Cast frequently by 10%. Attack speed of penance. Uh, let's go for the max HP. Multicast of all holy. Yeah, worth it. Snag that. And then just continuously run because everything is scary all of the time. I think we're good. We've still got two more bosses at the end here. 
and they're about to show up. And unfortunately, we've barely done any damage to Ice Boy. Yeah, there they are. So it looks like we've got two Ice Boys and the Prophetess again. Dang it, I thought I had a really good build going. I mean, I think I'm going to be fine. We've just lost all of my revives, uh, which sucks. Uh, let's see. Here, I'm going to banish Leviathan. I want nothing to do with it. Like, even if it is somehow functionally good, losing that movement speed is death. Because if I had been faster, we never would have had to worry about getting pummeled by, um... By Sword Spinning Guy, who really was the one that was taking most of my damage, uh, most of my HP off. Damage of Exorcism? No. I'm gonna just go for Resilient. Some extra durability here would, uh, go a long way. Uh, let's see, multicast for Hammer of Justice. I want that fragility upgrade, but 60% multicast on Hammer is uh, pretty good. Though we are getting to the point where it actually is becoming, uh, like the diminishing returns are becoming kind of problematic. Or not problematic, but like after a certain point, it's just not worth it anymore. Like, there are some stats, and I'd have to actually think about it, but there are some stats where it's just not worth it to stack more. Um, and there are some where it's always worth it. I would argue that AoE increases are probably always worth it, even if they're slightly less impactful the higher you go. Whereas, like, obviously going above 100% crit chance is nonsense and meaningless and not worth pursuing. There goes one. Give me all that. EXP, crit damage multiplier, no, I'm just going to keep going for that EXP bonus. Oh yeah, there's also the Slivers of Holy Light. I haven't even looked into that. It doesn't seem like we're finding many of them though. Okay, agility. Oh, sweet Bessie, that's useful. There's so many of them. I don't even know where the bosses are. It's a bit of an issue. Well, Hammer of Justice is reasonably high of level. Yeah. I guess I'll just build Hammer of Justice around hopefully killing. Yeah, that extra movement speed is going to be helpful. Because if I can outrun most regular AoEs, as long as they're not leading the shots too much, we don't have much to worry about. Attack speed. As silly as it is, I think I'm going to go for the poison real quick. Because with all of my AoEs, I probably will be poisoning things kind of constantly. Let's see. Touch of ice for the extra slow. Yeah. And it does seem like I'm stacking at least some amount of status effects on these guys. I don't know if it's really strictly worth it, though. Every time, stack a bleed, poison as well. Yep. Is that all? All right. Oh. I don't know what causes the red one to show up. Well, how long have we been going for? Yeah, let's do one more loop on this. I will probably die because that still cons is considered a win.
Okay, let's go hang out in here. Oh, it's this song. I like this song. Okay, damage by 10%? Yeah. I don't actually know what my damage scaling is. Damage modifier is pretty low. Crit chance is only 25%. So if we can get that up. Chris, crit chance and cast frequency. And multicast chance. Yeah, I, I think I've been applying most of my bonuses. Oh, this one's tough. Multicast of missile. So that's good for the hammer and for penance. That's just good for penance. We also want the frailty one, but not that bad. Multicast of Holy. I've got a lot of multicast for Holy. Especially on those hammers. Doom. Nah, cast frequency on everything. Crit damage chance. Yeah. Okay. Area of Beacon of Light, yes. If I can get Beacon of Light to cover the whole screen and then some, that's going to be kind of nice. I would... I realistically want to invest in that one a lot. It's my armor power at the moment. I don't know how much that scales is the issue. It's very much the same thing as like when I was playing World of Warcraft back in the day. Bonus crit rating. Yeah, but what does that do? Give me a percentage. No. Why not? It's dumb. Uh, go for Venomous. What we want is more bleed chance, but... Unfortunately, we have to apply Frailty to get bleed currently. I want the perk that makes it so I do... Uh, let's see, I want the perk so that when I crit, I make them bleed. Can I check? Okay. If I do Armor Power... It's currently 275. Two eighty six, yeah, it is not much. I'll keep working on my beacon. Okay, I want expansive. Oh, I do want AoE for this. Yeah. Cause exorcism is my big heal. And it has not gotten sufficient love. And my main reason why I want to do Beacon of Light is... It, uh, it's hitting constantly, not for much damage. Uh, but that makes it a very good... Option. Multicast of Exorcism, AoE for everything, or reduce damage taken by two. I'm going to go for the reduce damage taken. I'm not actually sure if that's a good idea. I'm just going to stay here and bully the toasty, roasty giant. I mean, as long as he stays in my AoE, he's just going to get cooked. Not quickly, necessarily, but it's still there. Let's go for the burn. I, I don't know how good it is, but if the aura hits as fast as I hope it hits... Oh! I bet cast frequency on the aura doesn't give me multiple layers of aura. It just ticks faster? I guess it's the same effect. So it doesn't really matter. Cast frequency of penance. No, I'm going to keep going for that fragility. It doesn't stack as much as I'd like it to. You'd think after X number of those... Ah, uh, no. I guess it's actually going up pretty fast. Also, I took 75 damage from something. That hurts. Crit damage modifier. I'd like that, but I think I need the movement speed. I think that's going to be what I need. Okay, let's go back to our secret little hidey hole.
is the one problem with Smite is that there's oodles of enemies that are tossing AoEs here. And I'm pretty sure I can't do it. Yeah, so I, I've got to start going for AoE on Exorcism whenever and wherever I can. Because if, if I can get it so Exorcism actually hits everyone... We don't need the damage, we just need its size. Because it is Wave of Light around you, if it hits for f hits four more enemies, you're healed for 3.6. It's not much. But 3.6 every couple of seconds seems really good. Let's see, damage of Beacon of Light. Its damage is good. I'm gonna keep going for Magnetic. I don't know if that's a good idea. But it feels like the faster I level, the better. Burn. Burn is better than poison. Okay. Flex leave the plague bearer, cast frequency, damage a beacon of flight, now cast frequency. Cause that's the other thing. Oh, I forgot I have two dashes. Damage modifier, no, more fragility. Right, let's just scoot over here, hammer of justice, magnets or armor. Honestly, after a certain point, what I actually need is just maximum HP. Because I think stuff like armor has massive diminishing returns. Oh, give me that movement speed. I probably shouldn't be looping through this lower area. I don't think it's worth it anymore. Damage of Hammer of Justice, I suppose. And unfortunately, I'm just taking a bunch of damage just by being places. And... No amount of movement speed is really going to solve that issue. Oh well. If they're going down. Not quite enough. I'm just going to keep making my hammers better. I do wish this had more interesting synergies. Uh, let's see, block power. It's my current block power. Okay, at 118, it's 15%. At 130... Uh, wow, block power is actually really good. I'm sure it also has hefty diminishing returns. Yeah, I've been... I've been playing Gunfire Reborn. Ooh, AoE for lasting... Yeah. Because after a certain point, my aura is going to be so big that it is the whole screen. I'd like that with my smite as well. It's way less likely for that to happen. But to some degree, uh, maxing up my smite's AoE means that no matter where I am, I potentially will be healing. Which actually would be really useful. All things considered. Okay, good. Looks like I'm going to kill them before. Ah, I want that AoE, but we want that crit chance. Because if I can get crit chance up to 100%... Ow. I le legitimately could not see the trees. Okay, cast frequency, no. EXP and pick up radius. I think that's just something you have to kind of accept in this one. Uh, let's see, I could re-roll. I don't know how useful that is, so I guess we'll just go for more AoE.
Ah, there it is. Mag magnetic doom. I think poison is better. Doom is interesting, but not really that helpful. I can barely see some of these attacks through my absolute nonsense AoEs. It's fine. Uh, AoE of Holy by 30%. Get big. My hammers need to be bigger. If only there were so certain compounding stats. Then I would be truly absurd. Right, I was gonna say. I uh, discovered that Gunfire Reborn has a Bullet Heaven mode. I didn't know about this, uh, but I've been playing it. And that game has some really fun perk combinations. Uh, in a way that, like, surprised me and delighted me. Like, playing that game was way better than I remember it being. I mean, they've been updating and adding more stuff constantly. Uh, but playing the Bullet Heaven mode was just like, man, this is, this is how you do a scaling roguelike really well. Why don't more games do this? I mean, the regular, like, roguelike mode has it too, but there's something about that bullet heaven section that was just like, oh, this is nuts. Cast frequency of might. Uh, yeah, actually. Because, again, if I can have that be 100% up uptime, that's going to be nice. Uh, you might even be able to, like, double stack might, but it's really hard to tell. You know one thing I haven't thought about with this game? The trees are incredibly durable. I know it's silly, but... Oh, is my holy aura... Nope, it's almost off screen. You can see just a little bit of it in the corner. There we go. AoE. Slow. Or... Damage of Smite. I'm just gonna go for the AoE. I'm not too reliant on Smite for damage. Okay. Let's see, additional movement speed? Yeah. Because I want to be able to outrun most of the AoEs. Okay, so we've got Alfred the Fallen King. There we go. He's normally kind of a jerk. But as I'm now quite fast, it's less of a problem. Also, that is a lot of hammers. If I can keep an enemy more or less in my sights endlessly, so that the parade of hammers never lets up. They actually die really fast. There we go. Okay, slow. Nope, more, more A or AoE. Ooh. Might and Spite area modifier. Unfortunately, area on Smite is kind of meaningless. Or not Smite, uh, Might. I have no allies with which to buff. That's okay. Block power. Okay, so block power is currently 130 and 21. It is now 138 and 27. Yeah, that's um, actually really good. Well, it seems like also seems like the Parade of Hammers is by and far my best damage dealer here. AoE for... Oh. Area skills. Sure. Ow. I was like, well, maybe I'll be fine if I take some damage here. And the answer is, nope. I have some amount of healing, but I am not a durable guy. 
Uh, let's see, damage a beacon of light. Yeah. Even though my death aura is mostly for small chip damage and taking out trash, it's still good. Okay, Doom, cast frequency of might. Alright, nope. Almost. Almost 100% uptime. There we go. Alright, how are we doing? Last set of bosses are about to show up. Area of empowering, more smite. I just want my smites to have big AoEs. Not that I can actually tell what's going on enough to land inside of them. My general hope is that I'm near them. Okay, so we've got the Chaos Bringer, and we've got... Ice Boy. I'm almost assuredly going to just die from... not being able to see the AoE that hits me. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to hit level 40. Dang. Yeah, I was hoping I could dash through them, but oh well, it's fine. That was really solid all the same, and we got a lot of stuff. Let's see what I can spend it on. So if we take a look at the skill tree, oh, we've got 11 more to spend. Sure. I don't know how to extend this. Because it's not putting a point in each of these. Nope. Because it feels like I need to do more of something to get him there. Alright. Uh, let's see. And I gotta be level 40. Ah, uh, one more level! Uh, it's fine. I'll probably just keep working on it. Also looks like we get uh, more exclusive skills as we continue going on further. Oh well, this is a, a bit of a grindy game, no doubt about that. Did I unlock any new runes? I did! Critical Mastery, 100% critical chance added to your critical damage multiplier when calculating crit damage, ex including bonus critical chance from negative effects. Ooh. Uh, let's see, we also have guaranteed to be offered only skills that contain the type holy the first time you're offered af active skills. Nah, I don't think I really want that. I was really hoping I could get more rune slots than this, but alas, no dice. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Controlled Chaos. It's probably good, but Critical Mastery is way better. Because uh, that means you can just keep adding Critical Chance uh, for even more damage. It's not strictly worth it, but it's still good. And I don't know. We'll see about the rest of these. Holy smokes, there's so much to unlock. And I'm assuming some of these are really good. Because these are all Paladin tree unlocks. Like, I have barely even scratched the surface of this game. I have lightly caressed it and said, huh, there's some depth here. And then I just, it, it takes forever to progress, so I just haven't. I i don't want to keep working on the Paladin, but I might kind of have to. The big issue is you have to pick a class and then level them up. Uh, and that takes some doing. What is it for the next level, out of curiosity? Epic materials. And a lot of prestige bonuses. So yeah, if I can get up to these, uh, it probably makes my life easier too. Pillar of Despairs, casting power, powerful spells until destroyed. Number of lead enemies to spawn. Uh, let's see. More lead enemies reduces healing more? I don't know. Every time you kill an enemy, 10% chance a meteor falls near your position. Oh boy. Yeah, that'll be fun. But for now at least, I guess, if you guys want to play Soulstone Survivors, especially for the Ascension update, it is out now on Steam. Everybody can play it, and I think the game is like normally 10 bucks. Uh, so if you don't have this game yet, it's, it's pretty good. Hey, it's down to 750 due to the patch. Nice. Well, anyway, I guess with all that said, I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.